Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go ahead and continue to do a collective ring. This will be for all signs, so it may or may not resonate with you. But if it does, take what resonates in your situation. But if it does not, just leave the rest for those that fits their personal situation. All right, guys. So again, I'm just pulling on the energy from the overall collective. And we've got the nine of wands coming out in the reverse starting out. So this is someone who is releasing something. Their defenses are down or they're just kind of just kind of dropping their defenses so <clears throat> in the upright it would be somebody that's being defensive and the inverse like this card came out they're dropping that so we want to find out why what's going on well we've got the world in the upright here this is interesting because this is a major arcana card the world in the upright represents a completion of something something completed either a cycle completed it's a completion of something something closed out something is starting new so somebody's dropping their defenses because something is closed out or starting new this is this is pretty interesting starting out but look what comes next this person is in the nine of swords in the upright which is really interesting coming out right next to the the world in the upright so even though something completed it's not necessarily a good thing for this person because they're in the nine of swords so something that they wanted to continue closed out that's why they're dropping their defenses this is interesting let's get into it so the nine of swords is you can see in the imagery here someone looks like they're up at night stress worried having anxiety and we know why because what comes next is the four of wands in the inverse the four of wands and you can look at the imagery here looks like a celebration of sorts maybe a wedding so we got the four of wands in the inverse somebody didn't get an invitation a celebration or maybe they didn't get married i don't know but something has them up late at night stressed out because something ended something closed out that's why they've got to drop their defenses yeesh all right let's continue so i want to learn more about why they did not get that celebration the hierophant came out next so that is another major arcana card so the hierophant represents some type of an organized group organized religion maybe some type of you know um collaboration of sorts but it's it's organized because you got this person here looks like they in some type of uh, a religion or, or some type of organized or, or organization so they were uh they didn't get an invitation because of some type of organized group that and i'm reading these cards together the ten of cups in the upright is a, a you know wish fulfillment they were trying to get a wish fulfillment with some type of organized uh, organization whether it's religion group partnership or what have you they didn't get that invitation or celebration with this organized group so that's what happened and I'm reading all these together as well because they didn't get the wish fulfillment. That's what they wanted, but they didn't get it because they're now in the five of cups. So the imagery here, you've got someone that looks like their their head's down, they're kind of down, they're depressed, they're downtrodden. Those cups represent emotion. So they're down about something. They're down because they didn't get the wish fulfillment. And if you look at the cards, they're not, the uh, five of cups is not looking at the ten of cups. They didn't get this. They wanted it, but they didn't get it. And I want to know why. So this uh, Five of Cups is directly looking at this King of Pentacles in reverse. Yikes. This is, <laughs> the, uh, the King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who is someone that's dominant, aggressive, materialistic, and they're just, yeesh, I Now I know why this person's in the Five of Cups now. <laughs> All right. So what, did, what happened? What's going on with this whole situation? The sun comes out next. We've got a whole spread of major arcana, so something big is happening, guys. So because they were dealing with this uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse person, the sun comes out. Something got exposed, something got illuminated. We now know something that was hidden before, now it's no longer hidden. And it continues because the next card that came out is a Page of Wands. So a Page of Wands in the inverse, excuse me. The Page of Wands in the inverse, it represents some type of probably some bad news, some fears, some pessimism about something. Well, I want to know what. What were they having some fears about? Because that Page of Wands in the inverse, the Three of Pentacles comes out. So Three of Pentacles is some type of collaboration, teamwork. So something got exposed and they're kind of pessimistic about some type of fear about some type of teamwork. Now I understand that these two energies are, co are, are combined because the Three of Pentacles represents teamwork the hierophant represents some type of group or collaboration they're up they're kind of in their in their head because and that's why they got stress for and anxiety because of this partnerships that they were in well what's the end result this is where it gets a little bit deeper guys the tower in reverse comes out guys which is very interesting another major arcana card so we've got one two 
three, four major arcana cards on the board. Something big is happening in this energy, guys. The tower in reverse, it could mean, I can read it one or two ways. So the, usually the tower in the upright represents something shocking, something uh, chaotic, some type of disruption. And it, you know, a foundation is going to crumble, right? If it's an unstable foundation, it's going to come down. That's what it would mean if it's in the upright. But if it's in the inverse, like this card came out, I could read it that someone's going with the flow. They're accepting the changes and kind of letting, you know, things come as they are. But I'm not reading it like this. How I'm reading it is this person is trying to avoid the tower. And I'll tell you why. Because I wanted a clarifier from this and I have the Eight of Cups in the inverse come out and I knew this would look funky. <laughs> so I can't read it that they're letting things come as they are to a, you know, but I'm reading it as someone's avoiding or trying to avoid a tower because the Eight of Cups in the inverse is coming out right after that. This Eight of Cups in the inverse if it was in the upright, someone would be walking away from whatever type of emotional situation. But in the inverse, it represents somebody stuck and they're avoiding responsibility. This combined with the tower in reverse, somebody is not trying to take accountability and they're trying to avoid a tower. That's exactly how I'm reading this. So I now want to understand a little bit more after that eight of cups in the inverse came out. So I asked for one more clarifier. And we've got the page of pentacles in the inverse. So the page of pentacles in the upright will represent something young, something just starting out about a financial or st uh, stability situation. But in the inverse, it represents something that's uh, financially immature, i.e. a bad investment. Here's what I think, guys. I mean, the whole energy here, somebody's having to let their guards down because the cycle ended. They're stressed, worried. They did not get an invitation or a celebration with this organized group that they want a, a happy and excuse me, a happy celebration with their wish fulfillment. Now they're disappointed because they worked with a king of pentacles, somebody dominant, aggressive, materialistic, because something got exposed. They got some bad news because they work in a partnership. Now they're trying to avoid accountability and responsibility and avoid this tower because this whole situation was a hot mess and a bad investment. <laughs> this is exactly how I'm reading this. So now, now that we understand what's going on with the situation, I want to get some clarifiers. So I'm going to go to our Dreams of Gaia tarot that we have here get some uh, information here so we've got it right, looks like this is the three of air it looks like somebody's being a little bit studious in this picture if you can kind of see so it's got person's got like a book in their hand maybe they're trying to read so let's take a look at what it says in the book on this side. all right so yeah, this is a three of air. So it represents education, talent, study, willingness, guides, comprehension, communication, and perception. Some key phrases are expand your mind. Every experience offers a lesson. Education is a lifelong process. Lessons repeat until we understand. Um, also, ignorance is nothing to be proud of. Yikes, all right. So someone's gotta go back to the drawing board and kinda learn something according to this here. Um, it's kind of giving me the energy of something that was a bad investment. I'm kind of connecting those two energies right there. Let's get an Oracle card here so we can go ahead and close this out. We've got card number 36, Walk the Flower Path. All right, let's see what that says. Walk the Flower Path, card 36. All right. When the world of should weighs you down, pinning you to a reality too small for you, remember the flowers. They bloom not as a matter of effort, but as a matter of essence. They don't uproot themselves looking for the prettiest bees or travel from yard to yard looking for the best sun and soil. They don't go from person to person seeking approval for their beauty or their fragrance. They stay centered in their plot of ground and let their allies and pollinators come to them. They allow those who would see and appreciate their beauty to come to them. And those who don't can't or can just walk on by. This is a realm of beingness rather than striving. And in this current moment is an invitation to walk the flower path. That's beautiful. I think that's some really good advice to this Page of Pentacles uh, situation. Something that was a bad investment dealing with the King of Pentacles in the universe. Really good advice to go ahead and close this out, guys. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this uh, particular reading. If you like this content, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.